hey siblings thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for always commenting today I, I i feel a little nervous i don't know if it's because of the subject that i'm going to be talking about or what but i i feel really nervous anyway um i'll be talking about how to overcome depression but firstly i'd like to to give you a, a little idea of what it feels like to be depressed you lose interest in in most if not all all of the things that you used to love doing so you don't hang you don't feel like hanging out with friends anymore you don't feel like hanging out with family you just constantly want to be alone when people wake up from their nightmares you you you, you wake up into yours and although you don't necessarily want to die you also don't want to leave. So it's that constant war between being alive and dying. You also don't, like you feel like you're not enough. You feel like you're constantly saying, why am I even here? If, you, if, if I died, no one would care. If I disappeared, no one would even notice. So it's, it's, it's that conflict of constantly feeling like you don't deserve to be alive. You don't deserve to achieve your dreams. You, you just don't deserve anything. You're just in that constant space of of darkness and most people when depressed they and they, they they would rather sleep than do any other thing so you feel like it, it cripples you it takes your energy you you constantly you constantly feel exhausted and um also we need to differentiate between sadness grief and depression because most people will will wake up feeling sad that day and and they would say oh i feel so depressed today but but depression is more than just sadness it's 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 like sadness but intensified sadness it's like grief but intensified grief because with grief in as much as you don't know how long it would last but you know that eventually you will like it will it will it, it will eventually pass but depression is like that it's like grief but intensified however there are instances where grief would would be would last so long that it turns into depression and in that particular instance it's depression that was triggered by whatever event that caused your grief so how do you overcome that how do you how do you how do you stop how do you overcome being depressed first of all guys stop comparing yourself or your life with that of others when someone our age or someone that we know achieves something that we always wanted to achieve it's hard especially if maybe you're unemployed or you're you're in, in a space where you can't achieve that it's hard to resist the temptation to ask yourself if your time will ever come number one we need to we need to remind ourselves that people don't show people show us what we want them to see nobody goes out there and posts their failures so you don't see the blood and sweat behind their the, this person's success you don't see the tears that they've cried you don't see they are behind their sins you don't see the grind you see the success meanwhile you're busy overthinking yourself into de into depression when you don't see what happens behind when you don't see what happens behind closed doors and i don't think um this thing of comparison i don't think it also applies to depression per se i think it also contributes to people being jealous and envious and it's an application for buloi like you find yourself instead of being genuinely happy for the next person you find yourself being jealous that okay this person has this and i don't have it so you're either envious or you're either jealous so please stop comparing yourself with other people or what they are doing with their lives that's a, like it's, it's 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 a recipe for disaster number two if you feel like you you because you're human and it's hard to resist that temptation so if you feel like it's hard to resist the temptation to compare yourself number two take a break from social media like for instance say yesterday i was really bored so i was like um i wanted to find ways to entertain myself i was just tired from reading i was like i was bored so i i was like you know what let me just take my robe wear it take videos and just dance in it because i was really bored so and then i take i took a video and i uploaded it and people were so excited like advocate you know you go girl black girl magic you know you know all those encouraging comments 
so maybe it is you you're sitting there you're, you're you're a spectator of what's going on you've been applying for articles or just you're a league you're, you're L, an, an llb graduate and you've been trying to find employment and you can't then you see that and you think to yourself people in my career are flourishing what about me so you're going to it's this this is also linked to number one comparing yourself so because you see that you're going to think that time there's no book inside there's nothing that um that suggests that i'm in court nothing it's just me you don't even know where i was when i took the video it's just me and i uploaded the video and if i had not said what i just said right now you would you would think that something special was happening yesterday and nothing was happening that's my robe so i wear it whenever i feel like it i could even sleep in it if i wanted to because it's mine but if you see if you see something like that and and you're looking for and you're busy you've been busy looking for employment employment guys it's so easy to look at that and think this person is if is flourishing she's either my age or she's younger than me i thought by this age i would also be wearing my robe i would also be admitted either as an attorney or as an advocate so you look at that and and you overthink so much that you end up having a bad day so to avoid such things if 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 you're if you're depressed because of not having a job or whatever it is but social media contributes to that depression guys please take a break until you find yourself at a place where you know that to everything there's a season and a time for everything under the sun yes today might be my time to wear my robe and entertain myself in it but you don't know what tomorrow has in store for you and as long as you put in the work as long as you plant and as long as you water your plant i do believe that it will bloom no plant shows itself on the day that it's planted and no matter how long it's been guys as long as you keep watering it one day your time will come i'm telling you guys like bo i'm telling you one day your day will come so if you can resist the temptation to look at tweets or instagram posts or facebook posts or whatever post guys please take a break give yourself a break until like use that data to read to read books until you're in a space where you can genuinely be happy for you know the thing like guys when i when i see something and i say to you congratulations it's because i mean it from the bottom of my heart like you guys are my siblings and i when i see you succeed whether or not i have that which you have guys i'm thinking to myself yo this means muslinda my time is coming if my sister or my brother is achieving this it means that i'm next even if i'm not next it means that whoever is going to be next is going to be my other sibling so when i say congratulations to you it's because i mean it from the bottom of my heart so i don't want you to find yourself at a place where you see a tweet or or whatever that you see on social media that triggers your depression guys please take a break until you can actually be at a place where you can genuinely be happy for someone number three stop the negative self-talk depression usually goes something like you're a nobody you don't matter if you disappeared no one would care if you died people wouldn't get hurt you will forget about you the, ne the next day or whatever with me that those were the things that i was constantly thinking about but whatever negative self-talk that you have stop it guys remember one thing depression lies and although it lies whatever it is that you're thinking at the time depression has the ability to tell you that whatever it's telling you it's true please try to constantly remind yourself that you know what these are the thoughts of a depressed person this is not my normal self read a book and if you can't if you can't focus when reading try and get a puzzle and try and and get the pieces together and just just something to get um the thoughts out of your mind try and do that guys please 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 stop the negative self-talk constantly remind yourself whenever that thing comes constantly remind yourself that um these are the thoughts of a depressed person these are the thoughts of a depressed person even if it means singing it to yourself guys do it please just just stop the negative self-talk number four therapy guys if you can afford therapy please go for therapy because i know it, it like i know it will help it, it will help 
that's where you will realize that's where you will learn whether you have severe depression or or what's this or or minor depression and when you have severe depression it could be that they will suggest that you do both medication and talk therapy and in certain instances it could be just um just medication sometimes it's both sometimes it's just one but whatever it is go for therapy go and talk it out go for therapy go and talk it out but there are people who who who, who usually say they went to therapy but it, it just doesn't work both medication and talk therapy they've done that and it just doesn't work this brings me to my favorite book that i was reading it's titled it didn't start with you how inherited family trauma shape who we are and how we can break the cycle in this book the author speaks about the unexplained symptoms people biologically inherit from their either their parents their grandparents or great grandparents so uh, he says that when trauma or cares there's a chemical change in our dna and this change changes how our genes work so this could like this could happen from generation to generation that's why i don't know if i don't know if if, if you've been at a place where especially if you've been through therapy and you feel if and you feel like it doesn't work like you you went to therapy and you still don't understand what's going on there's there's that depression that that that's that can be explained so in that particular instance it's because you inherited it it could be that it's an event that happened way before you were even born something happened before you were born and because of the chemical change that was caused by that trauma it was transferred from one generation to another and so it's possible that you will be reactive and your reaction will be similar very much similar to that of to that of um to that of the original event and he also says that although not all although not all trauma is inherited in instances where you want to, you you want to know whether or not your trauma was inherited he says the one one of the questions that you need to ask yourself is what is your biggest fear and after you answered what your biggest fear is based on that answer ask yourself what's the worst that could happen if that fear had occurred and after you've answered that also ask yourself to whom will this worst thing happen and based on that answer that's when you will that's when you will realize that's when you will realize that this thing like you will realize that this thing is a train and it will have to lead you at a place where you have to go to the family tree and shake it until and shake it until you find context to what to to that event that is happening to you and once you find context to what is happening it's it becomes possible it, it now makes it possible for you to explain why you feel the way that you feel he says that we we um we subconsciously relieve our mother's anxiety and we repeat our father's disappointments and he also asks the question um he says why do other people repeat what had happened in the past and other people don't what usually leads to that is um when a trauma happens there are families that like putting things under the carpet you know those families that love secrets and they don't talk about they don't talk about um the traumas so not talking about the trauma that happened in that particular generation makes healing incomplete so because the healing is incomplete this thing is now transferred again and again and again and again because this trauma wants to be given a chance to heal so because it's not given that chance to heal it's going to repeat ourselves it could be that what you're going through is something that your grand like something that your grandmother went through that those suicidal thoughts that you can't explain it's something that your grandmother went through many years ago and because no one has ever spoken about it 
now it's been transferred to the next generation and in that generation no one spoke about it now it goes to the next generation and then it's trauma that's cons consistently it's trauma that cons that is consistently transferred from generation one generation to another so in order to confront that and to take a step into into healing those secrets those family secrets that have been hidden need to be found and addressed and after that after addressing after addressing uh, the traumas that had occurred in the family in the past, that's when healing will be able to occur. So he calls it trauma language. So we need to identify that trauma language and link it to this particular event so that we can break the, ch the trauma chain and actually be at a state where we can heal. So you might want to read the book for yourself because he explains he explains. A lot of things that I can't explain in, 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 in a short video so please try and find that book it did not start with you if you're lazy to read there's also a video where he explains this here in, in on YouTube so find that um, it's called it didn't start with you so it will explain more about why you're feeling depressed and um, therapists can explain why you're feeling like that medication can help that book and that video will definitely change your life please look into it guys Number four, you need to acknowledge that the depression is there. There is this tendency to to try and 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 hide behind motivational codes and jokes, and then there are people who actually don't hide behind. They project how they are feeling. They project it onto other people. Well, gonna, those people who like being savage, those people who like saying negative things on social media, ultra motto, everything they are saying, everything they are doing is negative. It's because they are trying too hard to, to hide behind their depression that they project how they feel. So the first, another step to healing, not the first, sorry. The first step to healing is acknowledging that that the depression is there because with depression when you hide it you 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 think you're hiding you think hiding it will cause healing but when you hide depression guys guys you strengthen it and once you strengthen it it becomes worse and worse and worse that's when you you will find yourself being suicide that's when you you'll find yourself wanting to die and what the step to healing is acknowledging that the depression is there number five this one i am asking with so much politeness friends and fam friends family and people on social media when somebody says they are depressed stop telling them to snap out of it stop telling them they are being uh, dramatic stop telling them they are seeking attention there are usually people who when depressed they will post maybe pills uh they will post i'm about to drink this or they will they will harm themselves and they will post that and people will say ah they are just seeking attention guys they are not usually when someone is depressed they have a way of crying for help and some of the ways will be to to post that sometimes they send sms's saying i just want to die or i'm about to commit suicide or uh like they, they 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 like there's always a signal for them to cry for help some post it on social media and then you'll tell them this guys please don't do that when someone does that try and reach out they are not seeking attention they are not being dramatic and also our mothers have this thing of 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 comp of comparing us to other kids Sometimes it's not us who compare ourselves to other people, but our, our parents, they do that. Who Boni Palesa? Palesa graduated cum laude. Who Oboni Dibuseng? Dibuseng is married. Who Oboni whoever? Yo, they are successful. When are? What are you doing with your life? Guys, stop. That thing, that, that's what kills. And then Udre, after, after, after someone commits suicide, oh, why didn't they say? But why, how how were they how were they supposed to speak to you when you when you kept telling them how useless they are? Our parents have the ability to make or break us. Guys, stop. Bonme, please kalokopa. Bonta te please kalokopa. Stop telling your kids how useless they are. Stop telling your kids how um 
uh, Auntie Puleng's daughter or Auntie Puleng's son bought a new car, but now they're useless, they don't want to go to school, they don't want to do that. They... Once your child is sitting at home, chances are they're are already feeling like they're not enough. They're already feeling like they're not doing enough. They're already feeling like they are useless. And then you come and you intensify it. And then when they take pills or when they try to hang themselves, themselves you tell them, Hore, there's food in the fridge. The how they have they are like you or they have a roof this thing also of our friends telling us that some people have 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 it worse than us don't stop trivializing people's situations when someone tells you that they're going through a lot don't 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 make it about you don't make it about someone who has it worse i care we are different so when i tell you about my situation is because for me in that particular context context i am going through the most at the time don't tell me about dibu saying who's going through worse than i am don't tell me that i have a roof now i must be grateful that yes i know that i have a roof i already know that i have a roof don't tell me that i have a roof stop telling me about things that i already know please guys if you genuinely feel like you don't understand depression because i know it's hard when guys when you've never been through depression it's so hard to understand what the person is going through that is why people make certain comments that's why people say ah you have it better yo do you know that i am going through this my husband did this i'm not talking about your husband i was talking about me i tell you didn't come to me and tell me about your husband i came to you to tell you about my my situation please understand my situation if you can't understand my situation tell me politely or a friend I've never been through depression. So please try and talk to someone who will understand your situation better. I sympathize with you, but I don't know how to console you. I don't know what to say. Should I should I try should I transfer you to, to should I refer you to someone who can better understand your situation and who can uh, be, give you better support than I can. That's it guys. Like that's it. You don't have to tell someone. I remember the first time um not the first time with my second suicidal attempt when I told this other acquaintance of mine she was like you're not the only one with problems. People have problems guys. It was like adding paraffin to fire like i felt like why did i why did i even bother speaking to that person and after speaking to them i felt more suicidal so guys please stop this thing of telling people that they have they are not the only person with problems mothers stop telling your kids how useless they are stop telling your kids that they can't be passing with 50 percent they already know that they are not like they already know that they already feel like they're not enough so please stop it and if you're watching this and you're feeling depressed guys you know i'm always here for you my siblings you know that you can send me a dm we can support each other yes i may not be a professional therapist and yes i may not have all the answers to depression but trust me i will make you feel better we can console each other we can be there for one another and always remember that you matter so much whether you believe it or not you matter and i love you to the moon and back.